Yes, so I'm in uh, God's own country. So the God's own country is Kerala from India. Right, so the God's own country, it's, it's really a God's own country. There are uh, so many must visit places in Kerala, but I am not able to explore each and every place of Kerala because so many places and so many beaches, so many historical places, right, so many beautiful places. But the, I want to highlight the few or maybe a top 10. So today I am at a, a top 10 place. I can say it's a top one place actually. So you can see from my background, there's a beautiful view. The beautiful view, it's a must visit place uh, part of Kerala tourism from India, right? This is, uh, yes, so this is Vembanadu Lake. Yes, you can see the beautiful view of this Vembanadu Lake. So the history of this Vembanadu Lake is uh, like, you know, it is the largest lake. So largest lake in India and the longest lake in Kerala state. Like, you know, the longest distance is 96.5 kilometer. So you can imagine that 96.5 kilometer means how huge uh, it is. The huge distance, the distance is, uh, longest distance is 96.5 kilometer and uh, it is more than uh, 250 square kilometers. 250 square kilometer radius with a 96.5 kilometer radius. 96.5 kilometer longest lake which is Vembanadu Lake. So located and situated in Kotayam district. Uh, it is uh, just... Uh, you can take uh, 40 to 45 kilometer from Alepi town, which is a near town, Alepi town, Alapusa, and from Kotaim it is around uh, maybe 25 to 30 kilometer. So very largest uh, view, and it's a very beautiful place. It's a must visit place. And this Vembanadu Lake, nearby and followed by there is a Kumarakam. There is a place called Kumarakam. So the Vembanadu Lake, the Kumarakam, uh, it's a Kumarakam. It's like a village, small village uh, kind of place. So on the river side of uh, Vembanadu Lake, on the lake side of uh, Vembanadu, so there is a Kumarakam. The Kumarakam is a must visit place. A, it's uh, known for, uh, famous for house boats. And then you can go for a boat ride. There is a bird sanctuary is there. Right. And then Kumarakam, if I go back to the history of uh, Kumarakam, the Kumarakam is, you know, it was there from uh, the olden days. If I go back to history that uh, Tekkum, there was a king. So it is part of his uh, kingdom, the Tekkum Kum. Uh, Tekungkum is a king, so he was uh, the king of uh, this Kumarakam. So he built this. So there was a fort also, like the supporting the history for Tekungkum, and he was ruled this uh, place from that olden days. So you can, if you want more information, you can Google it also. But this is one of the beautiful place and must visit place. And the Kumarakam is featured in a top 53 must visit places in India by Times. New York very recently. The journal, uh, the publication from uh, Times New York in January 2023, it was published that Kumarakam is a top and must visit place in the world. It's uh, featuring and ranking in 53 place. So that means it's a must visit place. If you are planning to visit, explore, come close to the nature, if you want to plan to go somewhere with your family, the Kumarakam is a must visit place from Kerala in India. Yes, you can see the beautiful view of this. Uh, uh, Vembanadu Lake. So right, I said this is a lake. Vembanadu Lake. Very, it's the largest lake in India and longest lake in Kerala. And it is serving 30% uh, water to the Kerala, entire Kerala state. And then it is touching Alepi district, Kotayam district, Chengancheri, then Kochi. Like majority, many, many parts of Kerala. This lake is uh, touched by this lake. Right, and then Kumarakum, the village is established at the lake side of this uh, backwater of this backwater of this uh, uh, Vembanadu lake right so Kumarakam is featuring in world 53 places world top visiting 53 places so that means you can understand how beautiful it is and there's a bridge on this lake so which is crossing from Kotayam to Alepi so if you want to go to Kotayam to Alepi you have to cross this bridge and you can go and the best way and the best place so the best way to reach is this uh, Vembanadu Lake is you can come from uh, Cochin via train. You can get down at uh, Chertala. So from Chertala you can reach to Vembanadu Lake. Or you can go to Alepi and from Alepi you can come down to Vembanadu Lake or Kumarakam. Or you can go to Kotayam. So from Kotayam also you can come here via train, by bus, by cab. And from Alepi also you can come by train, via bus. 
so this is uh, how it look like it's very beautiful and a must visit place so this is a bridge uh, over the lake of vimbanadu so let me show you the view from uh, top of the bridge yes uh, you can see the beautiful view so it's a time to sunset so there was a boat ride you can have a boat ride here and you can go to kumarakam from kumarakan you will get house boats boat houses there are beautiful resorts are available at uh, lake side you can stay in that resorts and you can take the boat uh, go for a boat ride it's a hourly basis and you can stay in a boat houses also there are a lot of boat houses are there this is a view from the bridge you can see this beautiful view of uh, vembanadu lake which is from kerala india so kerala it's really god's own country so nothing less than that right so i cannot explain in my words more about uh, god's own country one must come here and experience and explore so it's a must visit place in a lifetime one's lifetime so that's what i can say so keep watching and stay tuned stay connected keep following me on uh, instagram suman vlogs for uh, more updates and more videos more information about uh, exploring new places then tourist spot, tourist spots and historical places right and uh, subscribe my youtube channel suman vlogs if you like my video just hit like button and then subscribe then don't forget to hit the bell button to get all the notifications of my future videos you can see the beautiful view so like you know you can spend as much as very beautiful sunset time next time i didn't got uh, much time to explore the boat journey so next time i will be exploring and i'll be showing the boat journey so this time i will i am you know i am short of time uh, bird sanctuary so which is the migrating birds uh, used to come here in the season every year from various parts of india and various uh, parts of other countries friends of uh, kumarakam bird sanctuary and here you can see the water uh, keeps also there and then bird sanctuary and boating is also available in this particular place the bird sanctuary along with the boating there is a lake view is available so this thing is a beautiful entry yes and this uh, bird sanctuary is organized by ktdc which is kerala tourism development corporation the water keeps at uh, kumarakam is the entrance and you can see the beautiful uh, entrance of this kumarakam water Caves, uh, which is a bird sanctuary, followed by a lake view, and there's a resort inside. Beautiful resort. The boating is available inside. Start from the motor boat, the speed boat, right? Uh, the start from seven and seven fifty rupees, and the various rates are available as per the time. So they'll be charging uh, per hour seven fifty or maybe eight hundred to start with. So right, uh, this is the entrance, and uh, let me enter inside and let me explore more about this. Uh, ATDC bird sanctuary at uh, Kumarakam. Yes, so uh, this is a ticket counter where you can uh, purchase the ticket uh, for one uh, single person. The ticket cost is for Indian, it is hundred rupees, and if you are a foreigner, it is two fifty rupees per head. So per head for Indian, it is hundred rupees, and for uh, foreigner, it is two uh, fifty rupees. And if a school teacher is coming with a student, it is just fifty rupees ticket. So this is the counter. You can enter into the counter and you can purchase the ticket, and from here you can go. Uh, this is the entrance side you can go inside and then you can explore the nature and then you can explore the bird bird sanctuary at uh, kumarakam so this is the bird sanctuary at uh, kumarakam which is the uh, kumarakam is a part of uh, kottayam district which is just 10 km from uh, kottayam district and around uh, 30 km 32 35 km from alappuzha alappi is centrally located in between uh, alappi and uh, alappuzha and kottayam districts and there is a beautiful uh, bird sanctuary this is the entrance the inside uh, entrance of this bird sanctuary so let's go inside and uh, let me explore the bird sanctuary yes uh, this is the uh, inside entrance of uh, bird sanctuary of kumarakam bird sanctuary this is a route map of this uh, kumarakam uh, bird sanctuary so i'm just entering inside so the way is having around 2 kilometers
so this is the bird sanctuary the place where lot of birds migrate here from other countries and other places Yeah, because nobody is there. It is like you know, feeling fear. Bird sanctuary, Kumara Kam. It is, you know, it is like a forest. It's like a forest area. So if you want to come closer to nature, you can come and explore this uh, Kumara Kam bird sanctuary, which is located in uh, Kotayam district. It is just uh, 10 kilometer from Kotayam. 10 to 12 kilometers you can come and explore this uh, beautiful nature bird sanctuary Yes, uh, it's just going on and going on. So this is a beautiful view of uh, bird sanctuary. And a lot of uh, foreigners are uh, visiting here. 